The process improvement course was developed by Dr. Brian Fugit. This is a project-based course that is focused on students developing their meta skill of scientific thinking. We want our students to know how to develop solutions. And so we've been incredibly fortunate this semester to have the opportunity to work with Crystal Bridges on their art kit project. Uh, we've been able to go to the warehouse and the students have used it as a kind of lab where they get to experiment with their ideas under the guidance of their uh, Crystal Bridges sponsor, Sarah Foster. So normally we welcome up to 50,000 students a year on in-person field trips. So this year, since we can't do that, um, we started with family kits in the summer, and then from there we realized that there was a need in our schools, and so that we kind of grew into the My Museum Classroom Kit program. For the end of 2020, we will um, build 15,000 kits um, that will serve third through fifth grade students um, in underprivileged and under-resourced schools. So we're working with Crystal Bridges Museum to help send art kits to students around the NWA area and beyond that as well. The museum has wanted to put an emphasis on ensuring that students still get a chance to get excited about art and to learn about art. So our project with them is to help create these kits and to create them in a faster manner so that they can produce them um, for all the students that are going to get them here in the next few months. Our class is tasked with um, looking at the process efficiency of the kits that they're building, so we're going to go in to see what can be improved, how the kits can be built a lot more efficiently, and hopefully apply some of those CAUTA principles we've been learning throughout the semester as well. Every little adjustment we make, uh, we write it down and we make sure that it's having the impact that we want it to have. You know, we're, we're making one change at a time as opposed to making multiple changes at once. Um, that way you can get a better idea of what is actually impacting and what is getting our results um, to be as they are. It, it's making those, you know, those micro changes and docking, uh, documenting everything and making sure that, you know, we're, we're getting that proper track and, you know, seeing progress as, as it happens. I think that this group project has allowed us to um, take what we've learned in a classroom and really apply it to a real world setting and see what happens from what we change and I think that it will give me grounds to in my future and hopefully future career be able to use this knowledge and experiment to better improve processes elsewhere. One of our main key topics we are seeing a lot here at Crystal Bridges that we're able to implement is the Kata principles. So we're seeing that a lot of times the kits, not just with Crystal Bridges, but also a lot of other companies, there are wastes that are not identified. Um, it's actually been really awesome working with Crystal Bridges. Uh, Sarah has given us a lot of freedom to do whatever we want and uh, flexibility to decide how we like to experiment and what works best for us and is open to any input we may have. It has been so fun. Um, it's honestly some of the highlights of my week is getting the students here. Um, they're just, they're so smart, they're so hardworking, and watching them problem solve and just giving them, when you give them a task and then watching them problem solve on how to fix it or, or just figure it out is just amazing and it's really fun. Yeah.